it's a hard decision. I just don't know what uh, what to make, you know. My God, I found the most stunning location on the Galti Mountains. There were so many times today where I talked myself out of actually coming camping because the, it's very windy. Um, so what I said to myself is, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna hike up here. If it's too windy, I'll hike back down, but at least I got some exercise. And when I found this spot, it's still really windy, but I'm so secluded here, like, <laughs> It's so calm here. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, and I'm starving now at the moment. So, I have my uh, my trusty X-Mid with me. So, it, it wasn't hard to find um, an actual location either for it. So, um, I was happy out. So, <laughs> if you see how fast the actual clouds are moving compared to where I am there's no wind so I got really lucky so it is about a half an hour to sunset so I want to get some food on because I'm bloody starving so hopefully with a bit of light that ah, doesn't bother me <laughs> all right let's get cooking dinner tonight. We have a uh, pasta cabanara. Nice. Got them the last day. Um, I didn't have any um, say the, the camping dehydrated meals. So inside in Duns and this is a serving for two so there's plenty in it if you uh, yeah. 
So I'm using my favorite burner. It's the Goosehawk Era burner. It's it's unbelievable. You'll uh, you'll find it there. Um, I, I did a review of it, and uh, yeah, it's something pretty special. Um, I'm loving like the traditional stoves, like the uh, the Tringia and the stuff like that, uh, have been around for years. But like, there's people really pushing the envelope in engineering, and I'm really, really enjoying that. Like uh, Leo from Xboil, like he created a beautiful product. It's amazing. And now you have Goosehawk, it's a small company in Melbourne, Australia, and they're creating uh, something new. Yeah, if you're interested in what it is, you can check it out in the description there. down nice and dark oh, I am starving so I have my food ready now I'm gonna get eaten <laughs> excellent <sighs> all fed and watered right I'm gonna jump into the tent I think and just watch an old movie and just chill out for a while um, it is very windy but I'm not getting it um, I'm getting random gusts, but I'm in a good location, so I'm really happy. So sunrise is at 7 o'clock, so let's see. But let's pop into the tent and have a chat. <laughs> As you all know, um, my dog Lex, she's 18 now and she's um, she's still physically kind of strong. Well, you'd say for an 18 year old dog, she's strong, but she's 100% losing her mind. Um, yeah. And it's just one of these decisions that uh, just one of these decisions that you might have to make and it's and I don't think I'm ready for it you know yeah um, I've had her since she was three months old but I want to do what's best for her so we'll see we'll see it's de it's dementia so um I'm going to get her to the vet and see um what medication she can get but like I'd say like her hiking days are done um I bring her up to the woods randomly but it's a decision that I'm not I will have to make in time but it's a decision that I don't want to make I suppose as you as a lot of dog owners will know that decision is a tough one I'll keep you updated because the only reason why I'm talking about her is because you've seen her in a lot of videos um, I had her since she was three months old and I don't want her to be distressed so I think medication first and then we'll go from there and see but yeah, um, yeah, it's a hard decision. I just don't know what what to make, you know. fair foggy <laughs> wow jeez the wind picked up in the night last night absolutely nuts okay I think my stomach's been grumbling since 5 o'clock so I, I'm starving I'm getting something to eat <laughs>
it's time to make tracks the wind is meant to really really pick up in a while so uh yeah let's hit the road Now, nearly back at the car. That was amazing. That has filled me, filled my soul up for the week. Do you ever find that uh, when you go for a hike or you go for a camp where you're just, you're happy for the week? <laughs> so I got my fix. So I did. Um, I put a video up recently and it's uh, a video about what I bring on a day hike. So it was my day pack out video. So yeah. When you get a chance have a look at it i'll put a link there and uh it'll pop up but yeah i was encouraging people to actually comment um what they bring on the hike so so we will all learn from it like there might be things in that video that i have that you mightn't have and you'll say oh that's a good idea like i've learned so much from people in the comments already so yeah it's good it's really really good and someone asked me to do a pack out of my first aid kit because um I have a first aid kit I made up myself versus the one that you buy in the shop because I have a lot of added stuff to it so what I'll do is I'll do a quick pack out of that and you might see something that you'll need and chuck in the comments then something that uh something that I'm missing and uh yeah let's uh let's work together and get safer on the mountain but anyway nearly back at the car so thanks very much for watching and please hit that like button for the algorithm never understand it and uh, yeah, and if you like what you see, subscribe. And stay safe out there. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.